So we're coming up to the end of the first panel. We talked about all the opportunity, obviously, and changes in behaviours. And just to end on a pessimistic note, what are the sort of limitations <laughs> of tech? And obviously, you're talking about other sectors. And I guess I'm going to look to you again, Eleni. You're working with a real heritage around not just the artwork itself, but how the art market functions. What, yeah. Are there any limitations to tech, things that after the pandemic there's been a real relief that you can get back in, in real life? Is there in real life well, needs I'm gonna, that aren't going to go away? Well, I'll come back to you with something positive, Ria. Um, I think that technology has really helped us with storytelling. Um, for example, many of the paintings that we're selling have been in private collections for hundreds of years. So technology really enables us to um, bring out those stories and, and um, tell them in really visual ways, tracing the provenance of something back hundreds of years um, and bring it into the modern day. Um, I do agree that, and like when, if we're thinking about limitation, that an in-person element is always going to be really crucial with old masters because so much of attribution comes from um, an academic looking at something. But I think technology can definitely help with that process, both through things like we're looking on a um, kind of direct level, something like high definition x-ray scanning, which helps us look at a painting's canvas. Um, and we can see changes that have been made that maybe can help us date something to an artist at a specific period, which is what happened with um, an Arazzi or Gentileschi painting we're selling currently. Um, we were able to see under, under drawings and changes, which enabled us to date it to a certain period. Um, and then at the same time, you know, we're also able to present that information all together in an immersive online experience. Mm -hmm. So it's both a kind of a direct tech um, and then also the way you communicate that data as well. So I think, yeah, technology is, is helping us in lots of ways. I think it does have limitations, but I say that it's helping us with our storytelling 